Hey everyone, welcome back to The Fin Factor. I'm Paul. And I'm Aaron. And yeah, you probably couldn't hear that. His name is Aaron because he's not wearing a microphone. We only have one mic pack. However, we are here today in front of Extra Hour Hockey Training Facility. Uh, Kathy Andrade and Randy Andrade uh, run this place and it, there's a lot of really cool uh, hockey things that are in there. So we'll get to use the mini rink, we'll get to use the treadmill, we'll get to use the shooting lanes, all kinds of stuff that are in there and hopefully we get some, uh, some special help today a little bit. But this is your uh, episode number 172 spotlight on Extra Hour Hockey Training Facility. Aaron, you ready to go inside? Let's do it. So here we are with uh, Kathy Andrade of Extra Hour uh, Hockey Training Facility. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for allowing us to come in and kind of invade your space here. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, as you know, Aaron doesn't really do anything hockey related, so today's going to be a lot of fun for me Love it. Uh, specifically. But, uh, you know, the the vibe in here, we were just talking about this, right? This, yeah. this is a very interesting building. So can you give us a little bit of a history on this, this building and, and how it came to be? Absolutely. It's a 1915 cannery. And it has a super cool vibe with the concrete and all the windows. And actually got a story from someone who actually worked here in their 20s and kind of gave me the layout of what it used to look like. So it's pretty cool to now turn it into such a great training facility. Nice. Uh, what is the main focus here at Extra Hour? Well, we're a hockey training facility and our main focus is on skill development. All of our training here is all small group. So you can either come in for private or semi-private and then our groups never more than six to one, but most of them are four to one. So we want to dive deep into what the individual hockey player needs. Cool. And what about skill level? You range from me to <laughs> NHL players. <laughs> we range from minor young players through pro players. Um, we take all players, all skill level, all gender, all age, and from all clubs. So we're pretty happy to be able to serve the whole Bay Area hockey community. Cool. So you, you say uh, all skill levels, <laughs> but I don't know. It was, it was I think it was in Kung Fu Panda where he said, "Was there a level zero? <laughs> he was like, "There is now a level zero. I think you might be dealing with that today, and that's okay. Uh, Aaron, as you all know, plays soccer, uh, so he literally went out yesterday, bought a pair of skates. I went with him. Yeah. And uh, first pair. First they pair haven't. Of skates. They haven't even been sharpened yet. Yeah. So uh, we'll actually cut to a montage of that later on, where he's getting them sharpened on uh, Randy's Sparks machine yeah. here. Um, but it's going to be very, very interesting, uh, interesting watch here. So uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, the last thing actually I want to bring up was there is a little bit of confusion for some folks. There's extra hour uh, hockey training facility, but there's also Kathy's power skating. So they work in tandem together, right? Yeah. So if you could just kind of explain that a little bit for the yeah. folks that are listening at home. Yeah, from power hour to extra hour, we've been called after hours, we might as well be called happy hour. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but Kathy's Power Skating, um, our main programming is power hour, so we're a year-round hockey skating school. That happens at Shark's Ice. We have two locations in San Jose and Fremont that we do. So it's really great that we can marry the on-ice and off-ice training for our athletes. Really Very cool. cool. Yeah. I love that. Um, so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to go ahead and get kind of stretch out a little bit. We'll hit the slide boards uh, first and foremost. And while that's happening, Aaron's going to get his, his brand new skate sharpened. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> so excited. We'll be right back. <laughs> so the slide board is one of our many training tools for stride mechanics, like the power skating machine here in front of you. The slide board, these are, these are, the, these are the teaching cues that we want to make sure we warm up with. The leg that's against the board is where you're going to transfer all your weight, and that's the hand in the back. As we slide across the board, we want to make sure our chin is over the skating leg. So from one side of the slide board to the other, we get good posture, and we make sure that there's only one arm swing motion. Boys, oh. let's give it a try. <laughs> okay. There you go. Oh, yeah. Make sure the chin's over the knee. And you want to hold your leg nice and long, like you're going to be in your full stride. Make sure that your big toe is sliding head. across the board. <laughs> Touch your feet back together so we have our return on the stride. There you go. Back underneath. Let's start with this arm in the back. And when you slide across, move the arm through. There you go. A little bit more knee bend. Go so the, the purpose for this, obviously, is to help with the stride mechanics, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, is this 
say a good way to kind of warm up before you're doing something else or is it just its own exercise altogether? Kids, you can train it on its own, but we like to couple it with one of our classes where we, we dynamically warm up, then we do something like this, which kind of separates or just strengthens all the parts of the stride. It's, a great, it's great for posture. I mean, all, everything we do here, we don't want to spend valuable time on the ice working on things like posture when we can address it here. Right. So that's a huge benefit. Can't slide across if you're not in the right posture. Awesome. Hey, Aaron, how you doing over there, bud? You got it? <laughs> well done. We can Look arms, arms, proper arm swing, too, can really be worked on here also. So, so right or wrong? Well, that that's up for debate. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. Sorry. You're sliding across the board. Yeah. Right. Bonus. Today. And then this this last little thing here before we move on. Was, yep. uh, why don't you show us this one now? And then this has a little bit of a story behind it. Bernsey was using these. Yeah, Brent Burns it, yeah? uses this in Texas, these power skating machines. So again, it sets us in our good posture. It gives us the ability to connect the arm and the leg. Uh, you can use different, um, different strength of cords. So um, an array of ages can use this. But ideally, it's to get the arm and the leg working together and set the proper posture. Very cool. So Aaron, another great training tool we have here. Let's give this Why one a go here. Why don't you give it a try? So now, what oh, Randy was telling me is that you can't actually push both at the same time. It, it right. locks in, So it's right? gonna, it's gonna reinforce the return that we need under the strike. There you go. So the leg that's pushing, that's the arm that drives in front. Up. Yep. So same arm as leg, there you go. It's not a Pilates machine. Don't move back. <laughs> Bend your knees. There it is. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I can't wait to hear all the noises that the microphone picks up for me right now, buddy. <laughs> there you go. Bent knee to bent knee. There we go. Make sure to try to get through the toe so we have that triple extension. Hip, knee, ankle, toe. There it is. So up, switch Brian. the arms. Switch the arms now. There he is. Yep. Naturals. Awesome. Like I love it. This. Hey, you, you just did some skating. Whether <laughs> yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I think from here, we're going to go ahead and move on to uh, the mini rink. And you still need to get your skate sharpened, don't you? I do. Yeah. We're going to go uh, get his skate sharpened real quick, and then we're going to head off to the mini rink. All right. Good stuff. Be right back. Here on the mini rink with Coach Cameron. Coach Cameron actually uh, is a skating coach for my son Jace. Uh, yep. he's, his skating has improved drastically. Oh, We're glad. hoping to see that today. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it actually goes. I don't yes. know. But why don't you give us a little bit of information about the synthetic uh, ice rink that we're on right now? Yeah, so the synthetic was the latest addition to Extra Hour. Uh, I love it because I I, uh, I consider myself a pro in skating coaching, so I can do a lot of skating work out here. Um, a good thing is we can link it up with shooting, stick handling stuff, which also integrating a puck's awesome. The synthetic is, it's about, you lose glide about three times faster than the ice, so it's a little bit of resistance training as well. A lot like if you had a parachute on or you had a resistance band. So it helps with that, that power and that speed as well. And obviously, uh, there's a bit of a relationship. Your last name seems to be the same as the it owner. It does, <laughs> yes. My mom is Coach Kathy. Um, she got me into it. I started coaching at 15, so wow. it's been seven, eight years now that, I, uh, that I've been coaching. Wow, man. Good for you. Enjoying it? Thank you. I am. Awesome. I love it. Great stuff. Hey, uh, we're going to go ahead and get going here, see if uh, Aaron right. can handle some, <laughs> uh, some drills. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. All right. Let's now, you need Aaron. me over here, yeah? Yes. Okay. I'd like you right over there at our All extra right. hour sign. All right, Aaron. 
This is what we're gonna do. All this right. is emulating a stick. Yeah. So we're gonna practice going underneath. You're gonna go three or four times. Okay. Just go under one, two, three, four. You're gonna pull it around, make a pass, get it back. Try and keep those eyes up, make a move, shoot. <laughs> Easy, right? I think you got it. Yeah, totally. Easy got it. enough. You can do that. Totally got it. Easy enough. All right. Just remember, really bend those knees, stay nice and low. All right. And you ought to always push. There you go. Boom. Under. Nice. Oh, here we go. Bend those knees. Was it take it through? Under. Yes, and then shoot it. Yeah, go shoot. Oh! <laughs> That's a that great the shot. <laughs> <laughs> Most people struggle getting it off the ice uh, and above the net. All right. Then you got to do it 10 more times. Uh, yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> At least till I get a goal? Yeah, sure. Yeah, Give that goal. another goal. We'll, uh, or on goal. <laughs> that was three <laughs> points. You put it in this time. <laughs> that was three points. All right. Good. The stick handling's easy. Keep those knees bent. And bend, bend. Good, under, boom. Oh. 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 Right. right height this time. The Timo right stick height. is doing me no help. The, the Timo stick. stick. Yes, the Timo <laughs> stick. You can't blame the stick. Only that one's got a lot pros. of goals in it, bud. <laughs> uh. Here, I'll replace you. I'll go over here. Yeah, Paul, you're gonna have to show us how it's done. Here we go, this is the one. This is the one. There it hey, is. Five hole. Five hole. It works. <laughs> you beat the goalie. Man. All right, you're up. Way to go. All right, yeah, here we go. So you got- You want to uh, pass? I'll pass. Yeah. You pass. You, you got to drill for me. Same thing. Same thing. All right, all Let's right. Let's see you do a little toe drag around here. Oh, man. So same thing. Under, then let's pull around, then make your pass. Right. You can pull the other way as a righty. There we go. Boom. There it is. Hey, all right, all right. Hey. Nice pass, buddy. Nice hey. pass. Like a pro. I feel like I'm lumbering. I'll move this up a little. Too. So it, you actually do get that resistance training feeling out of it. It is uh, a lot more difficult to glide than on ice. It is. You, when you stop moving your feet, you're going to slow down. Yeah, for sure. Ah. There you go. Boom. Hey. Oh. Nice. Top cheese, nice work. <laughs> All right, last one here, last one. And then we'll do uh, one more drill, you think? Sure, sir. One heavy one? All right. Ready? Right. Oh, oh, oh big save. Big Don't shoot save. there. Right Don't shoot there when we get later. Right in the good spot. Okay, <laughs> uh, so let's do. Uh, one more, maybe we'll uh, an advanced type drill here, huh? We'll do a little more skating, sure. Let's do it. All right. There you go. Oh, good. More skating. Yeah, more skating. How advanced are we talking? <laughs> uh, before we do very advanced, we'll say. Okay. Last one, and then, then we'll switch. Oof. Let's move this guy. I can't believe you roofed that thing. I, I can't believe I roofed that thing. <laughs> All right. Okay, hey, buddy. All my kids' sticks are flat. We're going to go through oh, the middle. You're just going to add two turns in. We'll do the same pass and the same move. Keep okay. it easy. Just sure. add two, two skating elements. You're just going to come through. Let's do a turn, around, turn. <laughs> Keep those eyes up. Pass. Get it back. <laughs> Shot. What do we think? Easy Done. enough. Easy enough. Yeah. Easy enough. That's good. Easy enough. All right. Two eight, turns. Basically. Three, all this figure eight. eight. Still right. very doable, I think. You got it. There you go. Boom. There it is. Woo. Oh, with the kick, the soccer comes in. Oh, oh. nice. Opened them up. Oh, rebound. There it is. There it is. Right. You want to switch or want me to do it no, again? No, one more, one more, one All more. Right, one we'll more. do two apiece. There's, yeah, three, there's three pucks up there. Woo. All right. Figure eight. Oh. 
Oh! Oh! oh. Let's oh. go! <laughs> Top shelf too. I mean, that's if, impressive. If anything, folks, this is this is what extra hour does. Okay, it can take a soccer player <laughs> yeah. and turn him into a guy who's going nutmegs and top shelf. Way to go, bud. Way to it's go. Confidence. I'm thing. impressed. The footwork is easy. I'm impressed. So let's see here. Skating, not so much. <laughs> nice. Here he is. Where's the kick? Of course he, of course nice. he uses. He uses his foot. Okay. It works. <laughs> you might as well just kick it to him. Uh, honestly, probably go further. <laughs> Okay. Nice. Oh! Good try. <laughs> Good try. <laughs> nice. You having fun? Having fun. <laughs> I like this hockey. Not bad, huh? Yeah. This hockey? Just hockey. Let's do that hockey. Let's do that hockey. <laughs> All right. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling like we could go something way more advanced. What do you got for us? One way more drill. Way more advanced. Let's get it. All right. We'll leave some of the same stuff out. We're just going to keep making the skating harder because that's my thing. So let's keep increasing the skating. Let's throw these here. Um, I think I'm going to take out the pass. Yeah. I don't think we're going to use the pass. Let's do, I think this is fine. We'll just stick with these two. We're just going to throw some mohawks in there. Get out of the way. <laughs> It'll get out of your way. Yeah. All right, here you. we go. All right. Let's go down the boards. You're gonna move the puck in front of the cone, pick it up. We're gonna do a full mohawk around. Same move. Oh, even I miss. Even I miss the net. Okay, wait, one more time? <laughs> one more time, one more time. Here. Off the board. Off, off the, the boards. Around. Pick it up. Mohawk, mohawk around. Oh, I miss again. Oh for two this time. What do you think? You gonna do that? Give it a go? Alright, we'll give it a go. Two feet. We gotta see the mohawk. Two feet. I don't even know what a mohawk is. But... Oh. Heel the heel. Oh, yeah, Jesus. Heel the heel. Good luck. Yeah, Alright, I'm gonna eat eat it now. Oh <laughs> <Eat it. laughs> you know, yeah. Hey, you got that nice Woo. jersey on to protect you. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Nice. Here's the mohawk. Yes, oh, there it is. Get there. There it is. <laughs> nice. Oh. Hey, we don't have to work on the shot. The shot's Not hard. At all. Jeez. Hey, I'm a little worried when we get to the shooting pads, bud. It's the yeah. stick. It's the stick, I'm telling you. Boom. Mohawk. Nice. Ah. There it is. Oh, yeah. a little backhand five. Got it. Let's go. That's good. You know, I feel like I feel like we could have done a much better job of that, and I, we're just not a good representation I agree. of what a, a solid hockey player coming in here and doing his thing would be. Obviously, I think we need a little bit of extra help. Yeah, you? I think we could be some help. Are we pulling some extra help. Go for it. Let's pull in a little extra help. All right, let's do it. So we went looking around trying to find some help and uh, luckily we found a couple guys that happened to be hanging out around uh, extra hour. We got former NHLers and former Sharks, Mark Smith and Scott Hannon. Guys, thank you so much for coming in and helping us out. Do appreciate that a lot. Yeah, well, I'm glad to be here, yeah. but uh, I got to ask you, like, what's what's going on here? What's with the box here? I don't know. <laughs> what's what's going on? I'm just trying to make Hannon feel at home because he's, <laughs> he's with Brody Brazil. He does it all. You know what? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like you guys did need some help. We were keeping an eye on you out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. Holy cow. Oh, it's 
feels great. Oh, don't trip, fall, Smitty, don't fall. Oh, nice. Here, let's tip one, come on. Oh, hand eyes off. That was a knuckler, little yeah, Smitty. <laughs> hand wasn't a forward. Nope. Yeah. I almost stepped in front of that. There we go, let's see if I can tip one of these. <laughs> Lovely. Um, whatever you want to, you want to hop out for just a little bit, get a couple passes going with them. Me? Yeah, why not? You want to run them through drill hand or what? There you go. What? Come on, Smitty, you can got this. You do the mini rink all the time. <laughs> just do, uh, yeah, a couple minutes, Aaron. That's all. A couple minutes. I'll be down here. Give a little give and go. How's your uh, <laughs> how's your forward and backwards? Yeah, can you get like one we of those do a on? lot of edge work out here. <laughs> I don't even know if I can skate backwards anymore. Tight turn around. Just do. Let's see, try and do it right around here. Come around here. Little give and go. Do a shot right in the goalie's glove. <laughs> let's get some pucks here. You want to do it without a puck first? <laughs> Bro. No pressure. <laughs> there we go. Look at you. Hey. Oh, Mohawks. Twinkle toes. Mohawks. <laughs> Twinkle toes. <laughs> oh, that yeah. Hey. Let's move some like of this. Like the goalie didn't even move. So a lot of uh, what we use this mini rink for is edge work. Um, Last year, I, I brought my girls' team out here quite a bit, just working on edges and stuff. This is, uh, we'll keep it nice and simple here today. I mean, just like some tight turns, some open um, pivots and stuff, but it's so good because you're, you're right? Just getting that form, like tight turns, right? Working with the puck in small spaces, so important for the development of these kids. And this is a great facility, just allow us to do that, right? Put in a little give and go maybe, and, uh, Let's see if uh, Aaron can do it here. How about a little tight turn? A little give and go. Oh boy. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. Two hands, two hands. Oh, hey. look at the shot. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, Hannah, let's see it. Uh oh. A tight turn here. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Beautiful. And some of the things I like on uh, the rink too is the resistance it gives you, especially for little kids. You get out on the ice and the glide that you can get doesn't make you have that strength to stride through it, to stride through it, to connect all those levels. So I like the way where if you look, you constantly have to drive those edges, work them, gives you a little bit of a strength workout as well. I love it for my kids. Oh, there it is, far down. <laughs> Off the blocker. Oh. Cut that one out. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that one out. <laughs>
But if you if you notice when you turn a corner on that, like how you have to drive with yeah. your outside edge yeah. and your inside. If you get lazy on one, a lot of kids can cheat. And when they glide, they can be on one edge yeah. and they can come out of it and not do that under push. But that under push now because there's no glide. So once I get here, I want to push with that yeah. undercut. And yeah. that's a hard one to teach the kids. That little push there, where you're under, there's the crossover, the push there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you don't, you slow down on that. Absolutely, absolutely, so, yeah. I find it helps. When we come in here, kids can have a little bit of fun down here, shoot the pucks. Kind of like wearing a weighted vest almost, right? It's, it's adding that resistance so when you get back on the ice, you feel like super, right? Yeah, for yeah. sure. And it's all in the in your edges. So that's where you're getting all the friction and all the slowing down. Yeah. So you can't glide off of it. You have to constantly work. I think it's a great little workout. It's obviously different, but I think good. Yeah, absolutely. Well, what do you say? Should we head over to the treadmill here? That's where all the magic happens. Yeah? Let's do it. All right, let's get to the treadmill, guys. Smitty, you want to go first? No, no, you're all good, bud. You're good. <laughs> OCD, is it level? Yep. All right, hold on. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have a basic warm up. You're gonna hold on. It's gonna get the hips warmed up. So let's alternate between a swizzle and stride strength. There you go. Oh, wait. There you go. So what we're trying to do here is get the length on the stride, get the posture set, bringing those feet right back underneath to the red line. There we go. Give me five more. Super low. Here we go. One. All the way out. Two. Good. Three. And last one. Okay. There we go. Smitty, you ready? Oh, yeah. Are we ready. switching like a real sure. crazy? Yeah, so we'll give you like. Let's see if I can. Oh, yeah, I got lots of room. Good. Lots of room. All right. So just let the machine. Get a little run shorter, under. Smitty. <laughs> oh, yeah, bend time, those knees. First time in a lot of years here. There we go. So let's go. Oh, feet. Can we swizzle? Whoa. There we go. So one of the great parts here is that you players can see exactly what they're doing. So they don't have to believe me if they're not bending their knees, they get to see on their own. Good. Right, good and warmed up. Driving oh, the yeah. leg out the side. Look at it already. Catch that burner. Oh, yeah. There we go. Three more. All the way out. Good. We like to feel that full stretch, that full extension. Driving the legs up to the side as much as we can. There we go. One more. Good. So when we have four players attached here, we get to keep the machine running. Players get to zip on and zip off. That and does we not feel good. <laughs> All right, let's try to get some hands yeah, up. Yeah, right. His legs are already burning. I should have did some squats uh, before the... Uh, oh. All right, so let's start skating. One hand off. You ready? Couple of hands, and here we go. All adjust the speed as we go. There we go. Outside. The arms rolling. Good. How's it feeling? Good. Good. Good speed. Let's fire it up. Oh, great. <laughs> Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. The machine, oh, that was great, the yeah. machine is hard by design. Okay, go, so. let's go half that time. <laughs> All right. No, the edges so. are. How fast was that?
My edges uh, are slipping. That was slipping. about 15 miles an hour. This machine goes 17.2. Some of the newer ones, I think, are in the 20s. Yeah, my edges are slipping. All right, so. A little bit. I'll adjust the speed as you get going here. <laughs> There it goes. It's like riding a bike. Okay, a little bit of speed. Here we go. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. There oh. you go, bud. Nice. Oh. Burning. <laughs> oh. oh, man. I'm glad you are uh, turned that off. <laughs> no, we don't need to go any longer yeah. than that. Oh, my goodness. I'm Ooh. going for power, not for... Yeah. Hey, there's a bucket right there. Yeah. I'm um, sweating. I'm good. So now they've done their skate. Do you want them to try stick? Oh, no. Let's max toss. this thing out. Okay. Are we doing that first? Or how, how fast right. was that one? You were about You're 12, only two 13. More. It 12, been... 13, that's it? <laughs> <laughs> how high did I go? 15. Uh, just a couple higher, bud. Hey, you're used to that, though. Your San Jose shark, Kevin LeBanc, maxes out the machine at 10 elevation. You guys are at three. So... Oh. That's probably hovering to your 20. Go for it, Hannah. <laughs> what do we want to do? Let me get out of the back. Let me get from behind you. I'm down for anything. Let's go. All right. Just Let's see how fast Harry can go. Let's see how fast Harry can go. A little bit. We'll max her out. <sighs> 10 strides, full speed. Sure. 10 too long. I don't, whatever. I'll quit before I. <laughs> do you want me to gradually go up or do you want me to stay hit? Oh, I don't know what's your sleep. Just to get used to it. Good on. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. So the treadmill also elevates. So feedback here is why do I, I don't skate uphill, why do I do this? This is our overspeed training. These are our first few steps. This puts the player in the right angle and the right lean that we need for running starts. So Mr. Hannon, have you done mountain climbers before? I have never done this one before. Oh. So the goal here so is to go twice as... Yeah, twice as fast as the treadmill. We'll be driving the knees inside towards the mirror. And again, it's the it's right angle and the right lean that we need for running starts. This one's going to be totally easy because I'm going to go slow. And you're just going to try to get the feel on the balls of the feet. Drive. There you go. Like we're really doing it like this? Yeah. And it's not the full stride arm, right? Because it's a running start. We want the arms in. Okay, good. Yeah, you're going faster than the machine right there for sure. Yeah. So arms on the side, just give it a run. Hands well, 150. Off. You ready? Hands off. We got it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There it is. Yep. Good. Okay, so we want to make sure that our harness is nice and tight. We want to make sure that the hook's in the right place so that when I connect, when I connect, we know we have knee bend and we have safety. So I hook in the player, I get them to hold on, and now let me see how close we are to shin guards hitting. Nope, you're good. So now we're ready to go. I feel like I'm ready to jump out of an airplane, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done that before? I, no, I've not. I'm just, <laughs> I imagine climbing. this is what it's Zip like. Zip line yeah, or something yeah, in you your go. harness. So before we get going, actually, I do want to ask you, um, the benefits of the treadmill as opposed to on ice skating. So what I love about it, I've been coaching almost 40 years, and it's really great to be able to take stride mechanics, break it down, and give the player the ability to see it. So the mirror is really powerful learning tool. I'll even say to young players, is that guy bending his knees? So it's good to put the responsibility back on you. Um, we can break down the length of the stride. I have lines on the treadmill. 
helps really reiterate where we want the stride to return. Um, arm swing is great. Players can see the movement patterns, exactly what I want. You know, when we're on the ice, it's, it's great to go around the rink or video them, but by the time they've reinforced it in another lap, we can stop it here, we can break it down. So the learning is, just seems to be yeah. so much quicker. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Well, I'm. Uh, I guess okay. I'm ready so to get you're going. hooked yeah. in. He's hooked in. Let's no, he's not hooked in. Okay, partner yeah. in crime. <laughs> so here we go. Up to the you bar. I'm gonna have you go first, actually. Oh, so great. Yeah. Today's about you, buddy. Right. Uh. So we're gonna hold on. <laughs> see how close our shin guards are, and now we are ready to go. Good. So I want you to hold on. Yep. Feet just like you're gliding down the rink. Okay. Keep weight on both. Don't move your feet. Let the machine run under your feet till you get a feel of it. Okay. Okay. So you don't need to do anything. Except stand, hey. bend your oh. knee, start getting your skating Whoa. posture. Okay. Okay. So we're going to try a little swizzle where we're just bending our knees. There it is. Using your inside edges. Good. This is where I get to say, is that guy <laughs> bending his knees? There you so go. That's a problem. There we go. Ooh. Right. So let's get a little bit more depth into it. Good. Drop the inside edges a little bit more. We don't want to keep our feet too upright. There we go. All right, now try one foot at a time. We call this stride stretch. Woo. So we're trying to get players to push all the way out the side. Bring their feet back underneath. Good, give me four more. Three more, <laughs> all the way out the side. Two more, and one more. All right, feet underneath. Let's lift up one foot. Just get a feel of a little, whoa, whoa, one foot balance. Good. Other foot, a little bit of balance. <laughs> Good. All right, why don't you go for your first skate, holding on so you get a feel what it's like moving with the machine. The goal here is to push out the side, not so much to the back. Let's add you a little bit of speed here. There you go. So you want to get the full range of the push. All the way from underneath, all the way out the side. There you go. Give me five more. Out the side. Four. Three. Two. One. Good. All right. Well done, buddy. That's a weird, <laughs> weird feeling. Yeah, Here, I'm going to have, uh, have you take these. There's yeah. nothing like it. I'll tell players all the time. Yeah. This wins the... This wins the award for the weirdest thing you've ever done. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I think I'm most nervous here uh, because my son Jace has been on this. And Jace, I'm sure you're watching. Um, don't laugh at your old man. Okay? <laughs> so uh, hopefully I make him proud. <laughs> you will. All righty. All right. Let's give it a go. So let's start with the knee bend. Good. Great knee bend. So here we go. Using the inside edges. Good. Grab the edge and then bring those feet back underneath. Excellent. Good knee bend, good posture. Forward skating, it would be like back of the helmet over the toes. So we've got a good angle there. Nice. One more. And then here we go, one at a time. Good. Setting the direction of the push, feeling the length of the push. Nice job. Staying down, he's not bouncing, which is great. Feel all that activation? Can you feel Oh, yeah. It? Oh, yeah. Lots of activation. Oh, a lot of activation. <laughs> so here we go. Four more. Three more. Two more. One more. Here we go. Give it a feel. One foot. Maybe give me a few one foot squats. There you go. Down and up. Here we go. Down and up. Good. Holding it. Woo. All right, hold on and go for your first skate. All right. So you get a feel. You can't fight the treadmill. You have to go with it. There we go. Yep. Hip, knee, ankle, toe. Drive it all the way out the side. Four more. Three more. Feel the toe. Two more. One more. Good. Excellent. Woo. All right, let's try to Good. get some hands off. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so this is how this is going to go. We're going to start moving the feet. We're going to take one hand off. When you take the other hand off, overcorrect a little bit and pick your chest up. Because if we um, take the hand off and are yeah. leaning forward, there's the self 
self-teaching of the machine. <laughs> Hit the bar. The self-teaching okay, of good. the machine. All right. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Just like we did on the mini rink. Start skating. There it is from underneath, out the side. Take one hand off. Try to swing the arm. So we get our connection between the arm and the oh, leg. Oh, so scared. All right. Okay. <laughs> so when you take the hand off, you got to get both arms going. There you go, pushing out the side. <sighs> I'm doing what you said, Paul. Running, and I shouldn't be. Told you, huh? Ten. There you go. Nine. You got it. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Get the arm swing. Three. Two. One. All right. Hey. Nice. It's you, buddy. Wowza. <laughs> it's a little mental thing. It's like, <laughs> it's in my head to get it all going. <laughs> get everything going at once. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, here All right. we go. Start pushing out the side. Good. Take one hand off. When you're ready, pick your chest up. And get in your brain. You're in the rank. Skating down the rank. Ah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Bend your elbows a little bit. Good. Right there. Try to skate in the middle of the treadmill. Ah. Yep. Feet underneath. Oh, good got save. It. I got it. I got it. We're good. Good save. <sighs> good. And remember, ideally, we want to be skating right yeah. here in the middle of the treadmill. We leave space for the arm swing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's do it. One more time. Good. And here we go. Nice. There it is. That a boy. Nice. Is that guy bending his knees? Is that guy <laughs> bending his knees? Ten. There it is. Ah. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Look at you returning those feet right underneath. Nice Trying. <laughs> nice. All right. Oh, Ready my for goodness. a ball toss? Yeah, a ball, ball toss, toss and then we'll call it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like I have to catch the ball? Uh, and throw it. <laughs> so we have a lot of training tools that we can do some multitasking with. Um, <laughs> ball toss is just a real fun, fun one where we got, now we have our mind off of our feet, uh -huh. got yeah. our hands yeah. and balls. Kind of like hockey, a lot going on. <laughs> You're like, what did I sign up I'm for right. today? Oh, God. There we hey. go. Two. Three. Keep the feet going. Four. Five. <laughs> One more. Six. Nice job. Nice, nice job. <sighs> All right, we're doing a little ball toss here. Yeah. Yeah. Do a little multitasking. Don't fall. Woo. See what we can do here. Okay, so. All right, here we go. There it is. One, two, three, four, two more, five, look at ah. you, six. Nice job. Nice fall. There we go. Nice work. No falls today, <laughs> huh? No falls. <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right. All right. Hey, How fun was that? Good. That is what happens when you come to Kathy's, right? <laughs> when you come here the extra hour, even a guy who plays soccer with brand new skates <laughs> can get on the treadmill and learn from this lady right here. So we're going to be done with skating for now. We're going to move on to shooting. The shooting pads. I can't talk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out of breath. But we're going to go to the shooting pads. We'll see you there. Uh, okay, so we're, we're here over at the shooting pads, and uh, we've got a couple things we're going to end up doing. One of them is going to be a uh, hardest shot. Uh, again, we're going to save the big guns uh, here for, for last. So Aaron and I are going to go first. And then after that, we've got this uh, light board that's over here for some accuracy shooting. We have like a little game going on or something. Uh, obviously, Aaron and I will be going against each other and these two guys are going to be competing. Uh, I think that's probably the best way to shake that one out. There's different tiers here, right? So uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and start off with uh, some slappers and or wristers or whatever you want to do and just uh, see what, uh, what our hardest shot looks like. 
Yeah. There you oh, go. Oh, yeah, 39. I mean, we did. Yeah, we'll do, yeah. do three, do three. Yeah, do three. You get a speedy ticket for school zone. <laughs> oh, I broke 40. Oh, I broke 40. I'm happy. You're going to have to hit the net, though. I don't know. Post. Oh, oh yeah. look at that. 58. 55. All right. I think the shoes are on something here. I'm consistent. Yeah. yeah. Consistently bad. Yeah, yeah we're still in the cover. Oh! Oh! Wow. 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 Just getting better, huh? Going up. All right. That counts. <laughs> that counts. Oh, wow. Man, I have a feeling that he's gonna do better with the slap yeah. shots we'll than see. with the wrist shots, though. So, Aaron, you ready to try a slapper? No. Or three? Uh, my watch says it looks like you've taken a hard fall. <laughs> I gotta let me cancel the emergency call here. <laughs> I fell, but I'm okay. All right, that sounds about right. We're good. 62. No, 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 that ain't right. <laughs> that ain't right. Is that the good mistake? Well, that's just 59. Hey, I believe that. Not bad, bud. Meh. Meh, meh, meh. Oh, I don't think I'm going to do much better. And maybe, uh, maybe after we, uh, Show how bad we're doing, they'll uh, give us some pointers on how to shoot these things. How to shoot a puck. How to shoot a puck. All right, here we go. Oh, oh there we go. Okay, 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 I'm speeding now. There we go. Oh, too high, too high. One of them got the 70. One of them got the 70. Wow. Oh, now, now watch what flex can do for your stick. Let's see the 100. Oh, let's see the 100 flex. So that's actually Timo Meyer's stick that we're borrowing today. 100 flex. Oh, oh yeah, 82. There it is. <laughs> it's all the flex. It's all the flex. He wants one more. There we go. Yes, sir. He's shooting. He's shooting. My snap one is probably harder than my snap one. Are you into this thing or what? You want? See, 69, Sam. Consistency. Hey, there you go. I felt faster. Wow, 377. <laughs> Consistency, I love it. All right, um, we're going to head off 72. We're going to move next door uh, to the light box. We're going to get that one set up and then come right back to you. Ninety percent shooting. This guy hit me up, man. No, nice shot. It. Well done. Oh my goodness. Well done. 
I think you got hosed because you're shooting two pucks at a time. <laughs> you're not sure. I, hit, I hit a few and then I hit you're, a puck off. Yeah, the, the second one hit the puck coming off the net. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was going right to it. Are right, you ready to go? All right, boys. All right. Go. Aaron's going to give this a try now. Come on, bud. Almost there. Almost there. There we go. One more. One more. There we go. One more. There we go. In the middle. Come on. Oh, oh no. In the middle. Throw it. <laughs> I told you I'd take the over. Well done, man. Well done. Nice job. Nice job. Okay. What do you think? Put it in the comments down below. Uh, what, what am I going to get? Am I going to get uh, 45 seconds? Close to Aaron? Am I going to beat Aaron? You know what's that? If you, yeah, if you beat me, I retire. <laughs> Oh! Nice! <laughs> what I get? Nice. 12.7? Oh, I'll take that. I'll take 12.7. I'll take that. Nice job. Nice job. Yay. Thanks, boys. Thanks, boys. <laughs> Appreciate you guys. Hey. Great job today. Great job today. So, uh, I mean, that was a lot of fun, guys. Thanks so much for, uh, for coming out and helping us out. Appreciate that. But first and foremost, before we get into any questions, uh, how, how do we do? Oh, you guys did unbelievable. Hey, if you guys didn't fall, <laughs> hey, that's hats off because that treadmill is intimidating. Way better than I expected, to be yeah. honest. I mean, no edges on your skates. <laughs> uh, I was pretty impressed. Yeah, that was a little trickery. <laughs> Paul, thanks. I didn't even notice, so it wasn't matter. You pulled right? him out of the box. I told you to get him sharpened, and he did. So I don't know. There was an edge there. In fairness, not everybody knows that. I got parents that come in, buy a brand new pair of skates, and come out on there. So, yeah, hey, yeah. just pretty a rookie. Much what I did. rookie. It's exactly what I did. If I could be dead honest, the first time I, I bought a pair of ice skates, because I, I was used to playing roller, and roller, you don't sharpen your wheels. So I just went out there in dull skates, and that was a very fun first practice for me. So anyway, um, it, for extra hour, what is the benefit to a place like this? Like, how valuable is this uh, for, for players of all ages? I think it's invaluable. It's, it's unbelievable. It's, you know, there's such a premium on ice time around here, especially in the Bay Area, right? It's you just having this facility, being able to come work on the mechanics of your shot, right? These shooting lanes. A lot of people don't have space, right? Tight, tight garages. I live in San Francisco. We got a small garage. So having my kids come here, they could spend hours here shooting, shooting pucks and uh, really break down the mechanics of their shot. I think it's awesome. You know, it's one thing coaching two teams. I bug my kids all the time. The way you get better is, is working on stuff on your own. Now, a lot of the kids, you go at home, tell them that at home they're trying stuff. But are they really, you know, are they really working on all the stick handling? When they get to come to a facility like this where you have the mini rink, you have the workout where you can warm up, you have the shooting areas. My kids love coming down here. Mm -hmm. They come down here, they're stick handling, they're shooting, they're asking to come down. You know, when I tell them at home, you know, go in the backyard and work on your sticks, they're like, ah. <laughs> you know, they're getting on the games. They get to come down here with their friends, with their teammates. Yeah. Um, you know, I wish I had a place like this growing up. You know, as much as I went out there and, and shot off the, the wooden plank that my dad had built me um, and shot against the wall and broke all the windows at my parents' house, <laughs> you know, having a place like this, a facility, if you want to get the coaching, you have premium coaching. On the treadmill, they can break down stride mechanics to everything you want to do, to going out and having fun on the mini rink, or you can work on stuff on the mini rink. I bring my team down here once a week. I've seen immense improvement from the time we started to the time now. Um, and that time on ice, like Mark said, it's so hard to get. Mm -hmm. These places like this are invaluable. Yeah, I was going to ask, how different is it from when you guys were growing up? What training facilities or anything that you had other than the wooden plank? 
<laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I mean, literally, uh, the, the, the stuff we had, like, and don't get me wrong, we loved the game. And we yeah. went out there. We played street hockey where we were pulling the nets off the side when the cars came by. And we were running around on our bare feet. We didn't have things like roller blades. I, I didn't even have roller blades. So I did that. I, I got on the ice as much as I could. And you see right now with the skill level in the NHL, like you know, you look at guys like Connor McDavid, Austin Matthews, you see their backgrounds in roller hockey to places like this, and they're talking about it. So, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's no surprise now where the skill level is at the game to have facilities like this on the ice and everything. Um, I think it's, like I said, an immense help and invaluable. And uh, for me, I grew up on a farm, so the nearest pavement was a, 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 a road with potholes like 15 miles away, right? And my brother, we would rip down old granaries and make nets out of uh, two by fours and chicken wire, right? And wow. we would have them in our basement. We turned our basement into a hockey rink, <laughs> granted. Uh, Triggered a lot of fights, <laughs> but also we'd come out of there for two hours just sweating, right? But to have something like this, it's just, it's, it's insane, right? I, I would have died to be able to come to a place like this, be able to just to get on the, the synthetic ice, get on the mm -hmm. treadmill, and just, you know, watching yourself skate. You guys saw it, right? Yeah. You, can, you can pick out all of the problems right there. It's right in front of you. So having that, just that instant feedback, it's, uh, it's, un it's unbelievable. And some people have a little more to work on than others. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's an understatement. Some people that are wearing the jerseys probably have a lot more to work yeah. on than others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so... Uh, hey guys, again, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. I know we kind of went a little bit over, but you guys stuck with us and uh, you didn't chirp us too much. Yeah. I'm surprised. <laughs> we that's right. that between each other. I <laughs> think, <laughs> yeah, between them. Maybe that's uh, the one thing that uh, Kathy can use here is a little chirping station. They can have these guys come in and teach you <laughs> a little bit. So uh, again, guys, hey, thank you so much. Right. Appreciate your time. Love yeah, doing thanks, it. Guys. And uh, Aaron, thanks you think a lot, you, guys. You think you're coming back? Uh, yeah, I'm absolutely. Gonna, right. I got skates now. so Sign them up, on. Kathy. Get those, things sharpened. Get those <laughs> things sharpened. Put your name on the treadmill there. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, Here awesome. sure you come, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, Kathy, tell us, honestly, how did we do today? <laughs> oh, no. Now I'm on the spot. <laughs> no, you guys did great. That skating treadmill is, like I tell kids, this is going to be the strangest thing you've ever done. Yeah. And you can't prepare for it. That's true. So you guys did great. Thanks. Especially De how new you are to it. Definitely it was weird, like, skating but not skating. Like, nothing around you is moving past yeah. you, and you're just kind of still getting in your stride and everything. So it was definitely a, yeah. a new experience. Yeah. And uh, to my son, Jace, who's been doing this on the treadmill before, <laughs> Uh, I have a lot more respect for uh, what you do. So uh, if anything, that's it's taught me that today. So yeah. there so you go. Stop being so mean to them. I, I realize them. how hard they work. Do <laughs> the best I can, but I'm still a dad. So anyway, um, but I think, is there a sense of accomplishment when you look at some of the younger players from, as you've worked with a lot of younger players and you continue to work with them, um, there's that where they started and where they are now. Yeah. Do you see a very big change in their development uh, changing the way that they skate, the way that they play. I mean, this place obviously works, right? Yeah, I think, um, you know, I just want to tell a story here. I think it's a great place to interject it um, because now uh, my husband has joined us working and I've been coaching a long time. And just for somebody like him to come home and say to me, like, did you see so-and-so? Mm -hmm. And I kind of know you teach, they yeah. get better, but it's really great seeing some fresh eyes on that. And I'll be like, yeah, it is pretty amazing. I mean, we have different benchmarks from them. Um, we get feedback from how they've done in the game, from the parents, the coaches, the kids. They love seeing their names on the board, yeah. like something that they couldn't do. Now they can do it, you know, faster, or mm -hmm. they can mm -hmm. do it in a more complex way. So that's great to have those benchmarks. But then all of a sudden, the feedback, I did something in a game that I haven't been able to do, or I caught, I caught the player. So it's, it's great to have different ways of getting feedback. Yeah, and, and, and speaking of uh, reaching benchmarks, Aaron, we said 45 <laughs> seconds. You got to 47 on the shooting there. So uh, I think next time around, you think you'll get it? I, I Hopefully under 30. Feel, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, last thing here, I want you to just go ahead and just let people know um, how they can get in touch with you guys, be it for extra hour or for the power skating uh, that, that is separate but similar, right? Yeah. So um, feel free, just go ahead and let everybody know how they can get in contact with you. Well, you can find us pretty easily on Instagram. We have two extra hour training and Kathy's power skating. We both we have websites for both of those. We don't do a ton of Twitter, but uh, LinkedIn, you'll also find our companies and what we're all about there. 
Very good. Okay. Hey, uh, any last questions? Are you, you good to go? No. I think we're good to go. My my legs are still on fire. See, I need to go ice my knees. <laughs> <laughs> so again, Kathy, thank you so much for putting us through the ringer today. Absolutely. Uh, I feel like we learned a lot. I feel like I've bettered myself as a player. You know? I feel like I kind of learned how to skate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, then, we can't okay. wait to have you guys back. Yeah. yeah, well, we can't wait to be back, yeah. quite frankly. So hey, again, uh, check her out. She's done an amazing job with this facility. And then, of course, uh, on the ice at Solar for America, the classes that she puts together there, definitely check her out. Um, again, this has been a Fin Factor Spotlight on Extra Hour Hockey Training Facility. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. If you like this episode, check out our other content, especially interviews. You can interact with us directly through social media at The Fin Factor and on Instagram at Fin Factor. And don't forget to join our live streams on YouTube. Visit our website at thefinfactor.com where you'll find all of our episodes as videos or podcasts. You'll also find our exclusive merchandise to help support our show.